Yo, what up, what up? Maybe you have ran into this problem with machine. Maybe you're using your own library of sounds outside of the machine stock library to create your beats in the machine environment. And every single time that you want to use those sounds, you're jumping into the directly on machine, finding your desktop or whatever folder that they're saved in, and manually sorting through these sounds to try to find the sounds that you're looking for. Well, there's an easier way to go about this, okay? And it's about manually tagging your sounds in the machine browser so that you can access them through the machine interface through the tag feature, okay? This is a really simple and easy way to add your most important sounds and sort them in a way so that they're easily accessible, all right? And this ends up saving yourself minutes of time every single time you make a beat so that you don't have to sort through, you know, all the individual sounds and find them in, in the different directories on your computer, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Rob and I am the creator of the Gold Pack, which is everything that you need from beginning to end to learn how to create authentic 90s style golden era hip hop beats using the machine platform, okay? So they're step-by-step -step video lessons. Over two and a half hours worth of video lessons showing you things like how to sample on the internet, how to find samples on the internet without having to pay expensive vinyl, um, how to chop up samples, what to listen for when choosing samples, how to chop and flip drum breaks on machine, you know, everything down to creating bass lines using the 16 levels on machine, as well as I'm giving you soulful samples, you know, so that you don't have to do the digging yourself. And I'm also giving you drum breaks and a drum library full of vinyl sounds, all right? So everything that you need from beginning to end to create authentic 90s style Tribe Call Quest J Dilla sample based beats, all right? Normally this is for sale for 49 bucks, but today I'm running a special where you can get it for a buck. Grab the link if you're looking for it, it's in the description, but I'll talk about that more a little bit later. For now, let's jump on over to Machine and I'm gonna walk you through this process of importing and tagging your sounds in the machine interface to save yourself a bunch of time, all right? Think about this, if you create a beat every single day for the next year, that's 365 um, beats, okay? If you save yourself just two minutes of time, that's saving yourself almost 720 minutes of your time throughout this year. That's over 10 hours of time that you'll save for yourself by understanding this process um, that I'm about to outline for you. So 10 hours of your own time saved over the next year. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it because this stuff is important. We'll jump right over to the machine and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, 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 okay. So let's just uh, walk through the most common use case of when you'd want to import and tag your sounds into the machine library. So let's say, for example, that you've just downloaded either my gold pack or my trap pack or any other sample bank or sound library from anywhere else on the web. Basically, what you want to do is get these sounds inside of your machine so that you can quickly get access to them um, using the machine interface, all right? By importing and tagging your sounds, you're also going to make it easy for you to access your sounds through the machine browser, okay, on the actual hardware. So pressing the browse button and utilizing machines like quick access to grab the sounds on the hardware instead of having to jump through all these individual hoops, sort through individual files to find everything that you need each time you sit to do this. You can sit and basically quickly um, have access to the sounds that you've imported inside the machine library by just clicking on that and importing it in that fashion. Okay, So it makes it a lot easier for you. All right, So let's quickly show you how to do this by uh, walking through a step-by-step -step example. So for example, I have a what's called my trap pack, which is a collection of drum sounds and uh, trap tutorials and things like that. Basically, inside of this drum library, I've already organized my sounds, and this is an important step. If you have a sample library that has just like all the different types of kicks, snares, hi hats, you know, percussive sounds, all loaded into one big folder and dumped everything in there, what you need to do first is organize your sounds by subfolders because this makes it a little bit easier to import and tag your sounds. So I've organized my sounds by 808s, hi hats, kicks, you know, percussive sounds, snaps, snares, and this is going to make it easier to import when the time comes, okay? So this is how you do things, all right? First, you're going to use click the files button, access the place in which your files are saved in your computer. In this case, they're on my desktop inside a specific folder called Complete Trap Collection. And what I'm going to do is just click this folder. Just click it once. If you double click it, it's going to 
show you inside of the folder. That's not what you want to do. You want to click the entire folder itself and then simply press the import button. All right, and then that at that point you're going to have the access and option to uh, to sort these sounds based upon uh, you know the individual type. All right, so these are drum sounds. We also want we know that these are 808s, so we'll see if it has a predefined. Um, so let's do uh, let's do specifically an 808 label and press OK. All right, so these are 808s. These are drum sounds. So this is how we how we've organized it. In order to import these sounds into the machine library, just press OK. And now machine has taken those sounds, imported them into the machine library. Okay, and this is an important distinction. Machine is not actively copying these sounds into the machine library or re you know importing them. Is just basically just means that machine is going to. Um, reference where you've saved these sounds on your computer so this is important it's important that in that you don't want to change the location of these files once you've imported them because the machine is not going to be able to find them anymore alright so that's why it's important to have a dedicated organized process to save all of your samples and sounds don't save them on the desktop and then move them around at a later point it's just gonna create chaos within your library so this is basically how we access them now. Previously, we accessed them through the Files tab, all right, and navigating to the place on the computer where they're saved. Now, since we've imported them, we can access them through our desktop, okay? This is the global machine library. In order to access the files that we just imported, click this little, you know, person tab right here, and this indicates that these are your own individual sounds and not machines stock sounds, and then we're going to click the types of samples in which we've just imported. They're drums, they're 808s. So now we have quick and easy access to all the sounds that we want instead of you know everything jumbled together inside of the file section. It makes it really quick and simple and easy to uh, to add tags and to quickly come up with your files and sounds. Okay, It's important to descriptively tag your sounds because once you utilize this you know organization method once you've had them imported into your machine it makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for quickly and easily and it's going to speed up your workflow so let's quickly touch upon that again we'll jump back into here and let's talk about the tags um, and and what you can utilize and what you can do with these tags in order to speed up your workflow there are three tag options typically I don't go too in depth into the different tag types so let's say for example we have a folder full of kick drums here and we want to import the kick drums I know these are all analog style kick drums, so let's go through this process. So we want to import the whole entire folder. We know that there are drums, we're going to select the drums. We know that there are kicks, so we're going to go find the kicks. And these are all analog drums since they're from my trap library. Okay, so there are three levels of organization and tags that we're applying. They're not only analog sounds, you know, they're kick drum sounds and they're drums as a as a uh, as a whole. So Try to get detailed with your layering of the tags, and that's going to make it a lot more specific for you to call up the different types of sounds. All right, so we have analog, we have human sounds, which I guess are more organic sounds. We have uh, acoustic sounds, which could be live sounds, and vinyl sounds, which could be sounds that are ripped from vinyl records. And it's going to make it a lot easier for you to manage all the different files, especially if you have a lot of different various, you know, style drums in your machine. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to call up the sounds that you want when you need them, okay? It's going to make it a lot easier for you to come and look for the sounds at a later time. Everything is super simple now. All we just do is press the OK button. It's going to import them, and they're going to be exactly where we need them. Under library, under the human element, and then press the kick drum, and we're going to have the sounds that we need right at our disposal. We're going to be able to access them through the hardware, okay? So obviously, if you're interested in this nerdy aspect of machine to improve your sound and to you know quicken up your workflow and doing little small details like this in order to, to get better at making beats on machine, you're going to be interested in what I have to say, okay? I have a new program it's called the gold pack and inside of this program I'm giving you everything that you need in order to make real authentic sample based hip hop beats on machine all right the gold pack is not only a collection of step by step instructional video lessons as you can see here this is what it looks like once you get get the gold pack there's five video lessons covering topics like 
how to chop and flip samples on machine. It's a 30 minute lesson. How to flip drum breaks on, mach on machine. How to find great samples on YouTube. The best places for e digging online. The machine sampling formula. So, all of the instructions that you need in order to make those a tribe called Quest, Jay Dilla, you know, Pete Rock, DJ Premier style, Ninth Wonder style beats on machine. But I'm also giving you drums, samples, you know, samples as in, um, you know, records for you to utilize and chop and flip on machine and machine project files in a, in a digital download format and some required reading as well so that you can learn even more. The best part about this gold pack thing that I've got going on is typically this gold pack is for sale for $49. Even at that price it's a great deal considering that if you just sell one beat license for 50 bucks based upon the information that you learn inside of here based upon the sounds that I'm giving you and the technique and instruction if you just sell one beat license for 50 bucks it already pays for itself. However, because you are a follower of my blog and this machine movement that I've got going on, I'm going to give you a copy of the Gold Pack today for just one dollar. All right. All you have to do is click the link in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a link that says get your Gold Pack here. Or if you're watching this on the blog, there's going to be a link in the text in the blog article below you or below this video. And uh, you're going to, once you click, you're going to land upon a page that looks like this. It's going to give you more information about what's inside of the gold pack, all the details and everything to educate yourself. I want to make sure that you're informed about what you're getting. Click this big gold button. You're going to be taken to a page where you can enter your name and your payment information. And like I said, it's just a buck, no catch, no strings attached, 30 day money back guarantee. And uh, yeah, you'll be up and running on this page, getting your information and your samples and your downloads and all that for a buck in just a few minutes. So Click the link below, grab your copy of the Gold Pack, subscribe to this channel to make sure that you continue to get more great free information to educate yourself about the machine platform so that you can improve your sound, make better better beats, and advance your music career. All right? My name is Rob from HipHopRally.com. Uh, I look forward to seeing you inside of this Gold Pack instructional video course, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll have you later. Peace.